Upgrade your classic game room to CGR Hyper Mark III. Classic Game Room presents Magnum Skywolf, the helicopter action comic strip, now on Patreon. Banished from Earth, Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room. This is Sega Genesis fanboy Mark, fueled by blast processing, bringing you the review of Zaxxon's Mother Base 2000 for the Sega 32X. Yes, 32 times the blast processing. Is that how the math works? Sure, why not? Zaxxon's Mother Base 2000 was released in 1995 for the Sega 32X. And despite the fact it has next to nothing to do with Zaxxon, the original classic Sega arcade game, it's a very cool and unique game if you give it some time. Zaxxon's Mother Base 2000 is odd, to say the least. It does not make a good first impression. I like and hate the music at the same time. In fact, I kind of like and hate this game at the same time. It has its moments. There's some real brilliance behind Zaxxon's Mother Base 2000, which, by the way, was called something else in Japan. So I think they just slapped the Zaxxon title when it came over here to the West, probably because of the unique isometric view. I felt like this was a good addition for Mecha March Madness, not just because of the mech on screen that you're fighting here, this pseudo end boss, but because the Sega 32X is itself like a giant towering mech of destruction. And you've got to respect that. But this game, this game, it, it just, it just struggles to keep up with itself, even with the added horsepower of the Sega 32X. All right, I just got through the first level. We're on to level two here, and odds are you're a bit confused. The main feature in Zaxxon's Mother Base 2000 is that your spaceship can jump. You don't fly up and down like you did in the original Zaxxon. You jump onto certain enemies, hijack them, hack them, and then take their powers. That also gives you a bit of added protection. You can take a hit and then jump out of your craft before it explodes. And in addition to that just being cool, you also keep one of their sub-weapons uh, for yourself. It, it's really fascinating and gives the game unlimited replay value, but it, it doesn't play all that well. This is very, very jerky. Very jerky. What we needed was the Sega 64X. Yeah, you don't get their powers right away. You jump onto an enemy, it takes a moment, and then says, ready. And then you've hijacked that enemy, and depending on which, uh, which one it is, you may want to keep it. Like, this guy is actually pretty good. He's fast. Two lasers. Good choice. Some of the other ones are slow, others don't fire quickly enough. And you've also got your, like, Insecticon space friends that come with you. When you see one of your space friends, jack it as quickly as possible. They're really powerful, and some of the music in this game is is very good. Other tracks aren't at all. I rather like this one. Notice I capture an enemy, and I'm going to make my way to one of my Super Insecticon space friends and fight this giant boss battle which pushes the Sega 32X well past its limits. Zaxxon's Mother Base 2000 doesn't have much in common with the original Zaxxon. It's not a great game, but it is a unique game. And I found it strangely enjoyable after a while. For all of its faults, it's still pretty cool. And definitely a must-have for those of you collecting for the Sega 32X. Now, there's not that many games on the 32X.
But after you buy Cosmic Carnage and the other good ones like Calibri and Shadow Squadron, add Zaxxon's Mother Base 2000 to your list, because it's not on anything else. Hey Super Nintendo fans, do you know what the SNES doesn't have? A Sega 32X. <laughs> I love this music. Notice I just jumped out of the Insecticon thing. I'm vulnerable. I'm on my own. My heart is pumping like a jackhammer. This game has its moments. Now it drops me into a swamp to fight fish. What a weird game. There's also a jukebox feature so you can listen to the music independently and record it. Beyond the obvious odd factor and the fact that this is on the quirky 32X, the best reason to get Zaxxon's Mother Base 2000 is the hacking enemy feature because that really mixes up gameplay and gives it a lot of replay value. Because until you try, you don't know what enemies you can hack. Half the time you explode and fail miserably. But when you do finally jump on top of one and steal its super lasers, it, it's just fun. I also like the bizarre enemy designs and the little robots and the ones earlier in the game that remind me of Jetfire. There's a lot of things about this game that make Sega Genesis fanboy Mark very happy. And that's very rad, with an X at the end, for EXTREME 32X. And I've got two people to thank for this game. Copies showed up back to back after Classic Game Room Mark III was launched. Here's a Classic Game Room shout out and thank you going to Mike from Galloway, New, New Jersey. Jersey. And I've got another thank you for another Mike from Galena, Ohio. Thank you, Mike, and Mike. Frequently during the music, you'll hear some distorted voice samples. It's very 90s, and after you lose, something is in the music backwards. I can't quite make it out, but here it is. Thank you for watching. Follow Classic Game Room on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Don't miss Magnum Skywolf, also on Patreon. Welcome to the club. It's the Lord Carnage Club, where I give thanks to these backers on Patreon. Starting with Jim Moriarty, Sergio Matthias Hergert, Zach Brenner, yeah! Jason, Jason from Kamloops. British Columbia. Columbia. Busy, Busy signal. signal! Yeah! Woo! Shadow Minion for Lord Carnage. Al Stiver. Sean Zoltek. Nah, I'm just kidding. Sean Zoltek! Steven Chucknick from New Jersey! Lendon Ellerby! So Lando! Philip Straubenmuller of Vienna! Austria! Jack Stavris from Australia! Ohad Kane! Jeff! Captain Dauntless! Briar! Rick! DeBarros! Will! 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 Kid Shuruken! And... Chip! Sink bail. See you next time on Classic Game Room. Mark three.